What's up everyone, it's Lens Addict here and today I'm going to be checking out the iRobot Scuba and the iRobot Brava Jet Mop. So I have both of them in box and we're going to unbox them, have a look and talk about the pros and cons of each. So let's get started. Let's start out with the Scuba. So we'll have a look at the box and have a look inside. Well, let's look at the box first actually. So comes with scuba, the virtual wall, battery, charger, and let's have a look at the back. And we might compare the back of the Brava Jet as well. And the Brava Jet one's much less informative, so it's just shows the underneath of it. This one kind of shows you how it works. So this one vacuums first. Then it puts down cleaning solution, then it scrubs, and then it vacuums it up into a tank on the device. Interestingly, um, they say, unlike a mop, scuba never uses dirty water to wash your floors. Well, this is a mop and this kind of does. So they've gone backwards. To give you context, this product is from 2010, 2009, and this one's from, I think, 2018, 2019 maybe even 2020, but it's gotten a lot of updates because this one gets software updates. All right, let's unbox the scuba. Let's have a look inside. All right. So we have, oh wow, we have a little manual. Let's have a look at that. Here's the manual. All right, that's the manual. And then this is, I assume, some more stuff on how to clean it and charge it up. So, important information. There's cleaning ports. All right. But this one's from an Australian model. It says for use in Australia. All right. And well, there's your one year warranty, which is well and truly gone <laughs> by now. But um, that's nice to know. And then here's some more quick starting guide. Um, so when you finish using the scuba, you tip out the dirty water. Very nice. All right. So here's the scuba in the box. So this is the cleaning solution. It's probably well past its best before if it ever had one. <laughs> um, then there's the power cable. And then there's the power brick. There's the outputs on it, and here's the pinout. It looks like the iRobot Discovery pinout, actually. Uh, okay, and then there's the battery. I This is a non-genuine battery, because the, the original one was broken. And here's the virtual wall, so you just turn on and off with the button, and you can choose, like, distance and a few other things. Cool, let's look at the scuba. So here it is, it kind of vacuums first, then the water comes out here, then it scrubs the floors, and then it sucks up the dirty water. And here's a look from the other side, so you can see the tank and all that stuff, how it all works. So I think it sucks it up through here, which then gets goes into the tank here, and then these also squeegee down here the water and then this is like the filter so this is where it captures all the crumbs and stuff as well pretty cool and then you see you have a dirty and a clean tank wow let's put the battery in all 
All right. And as you can see, it's telling us we need to add the tank. So we'll put the tank in. And we might just leave this to charge off to the side while we unbox the other one. Because it's not fully charged. So let's unbox this one over here. We also have this, which is for priming the pump. And the way you do that is you kind of put water in here. It's, I've never actually had to do it, but you put water in here and then you push, you squeeze this on the pump and you can force the pump to work. Sometimes the pump doesn't work from what I read online, but personally, I've never had a problem. Anyway, this is what it looks like charging. So you don't, doesn't automatically dock or anything. You've got to plug it in and to get it to charge. Let's unbox the Brava Jet. But before we do, let's have a look at the very informative packaging, which is not because it doesn't actually say anything. <laughs> There's literally nothing. It's just photos. So it's a bit disappointing compared to this versus this photo. I guess down here it tells you that there, let's see what it comes with. And um, you also get a C down here. That's 2019 copyright. All right. Let's unbox it. Let's have a look inside. All right. Do not open if you don't agree to the user terms. <laughs> wow. All right. Apple kind of does that as well. Right, I'm going to get a knife. I'll be back. All right, let's have a look in the box at this beautiful robot mop. Wow, it's very nicely presented. Very nice. Very beautiful. Straight away, you're into it. You get it. There it is. And then we have... There's not much in here, really. Then we have the... Uh, we have some of the base where it docks. So we'll take that out and have a quick look at that. And there's the base. This goes on there, and then this sits on there like this. And that's it, it's docked. Then we got a safety guide. Let's have a quick look at the safety guide. No, oh, it's just done disassemble. The usual safety guide. Let's look at this one. One might be a bit more exciting. Okay. It talks about cleaning pads. So this one didn't come with them, but I actually bought a lot. Here are some of the cleaning pads. So I've bought a few. This is the dry sweeping one. And these are the wet floor sleeping ones. And then you have some um, ones here that are single use. So I think this is the wet or dry. It doesn't really say, I don't actually know. But that's, that's some of the pads it comes with. And then you have owner's guide, all that stuff. All right, what we'll do is we'll have a look. Have a look in here. Let me lift it out, yeah. go. So it comes with some cleaning agent. I can smell it even though it's not open. It has a very distinct smell. Interesting. Then we have the power cable which connects to the dock. And then we have all our little washable wet floor mopping pads, all that stuff. And single use. Isn't that funny? I give you a lot of single use. But only one reusable one. They probably want to sell you more stuff, hey? And there's nothing in there. And there's nothing in here either. All right. Well, let's get this one on the charger and we'll have a look at the difference between the two. So I'm putting this one on the charger. Let's see, so we can see there's a camera here that it uses for navigation. It sprays the water out here. There's a few more sensors here. Um, and then 
This is the water tank. You can see that water tank. You fill it up with the water and the cleaning solution.
So maintenance wise, it looks like the Brava Jet is much more simple to clean and maintain. So here's what you have to do to maintain the Brava. All you have to do is fill up this water tank, which is quite simple. You just open this and fill it up. It's quite simple to do. In terms of cleaning the wash pad, there's a button on the front that you press. And then you just put this, you just put it in the washing machine. And that's it. And then you just let it dry. So very simple with the Brava, not too complicated to clean. The Brava also automatically goes home when it's done cleaning. And it also uses the same blockers as the Roomba and the same app. So it's a little bit auto more automated, although you still do have to change the pads and stuff like that. And you certainly wouldn't want to leave it wet for a while as it would definitely get moldy. The Brava, on the other hand, you need to manually plug it in each time. When it's done, it doesn't dock itself. Uh, the battery is also a bit more dated, the technology. It's not lithium, it's nickel cadmium, I believe. And you have a lot more to clean. So you have a tank that you need to rinse out, uh, which can be a little bit more effort. You have a filter which you need to wash and get the stuff out of. You also have a little pipe, not sure why, but that's something else you need to clean. And you also have this brush bar. So let's put it all together and show you what that looks like. So you install this on the product here. Clips in, this goes in here, that clips in. This clips in here and then this brush bar clips in on the back as you'll see you just clip it in um, but yeah for all this added complexity you do get a product that does vacuum here spray water here brush and then suck up the water so it is a bit more complicated and it will also suck up water whereas the other one is more of a mop um, yeah how this clips in, it goes in like that, and that's the Brava. As you can see, I've added a mod here, stop it scraping, added a bit of Velcro on the front. So I've actually been using both the Brava Jet and the Scuba for over a year now. Um, that video that, I, that was filmed at the start of this video was actually a year ago. Pretty crazy, huh? But anyway, uh, I'll give you the pros and cons and which one I think is better, but I actually don't think I can tell you which one I think is better. It just depends on your use cases and stuff like that. Um, so when I got the scuba originally, uh, which is the older model, I worked from home and it didn't matter to me that the Brava had an app because I just ran it the scuba manually and I'll put it in a room. But I now work in the city and I have to be in office most days. So because of this, um, I need something that I can run remotely, which is what the BravaJet does have, which I really prefer now. But I would say the cleaning of the BravaJet is not as good, although it cleans really well. And because it links with the Roomba, the Roomba is, which is a robot vacuum cleaner, will vacuum the floor and then send a signal to the Brava Jet to start cleaning afterwards. So the whole thing with the scuba of vacuuming is kind of wasted because the Roomba will vacuum, do a really good job at vacuuming better than the Brava, and then the um, Brava Jet will run. So the scuba, although it can vacuum, the iRobot scuba, the old one from 2008, was really good at its thing at its time. I would say now, um, you know, you can get them used for like 100, 200 bucks. If you can do that, great deal and get one um, because there's certain things that I still use 
the iRobot scuba for, which is, for instance, when I have a shower sometimes, if there's heaps of water, I just let the Brava suck it all up. But the scuba, which is the mopping robot, can't do that. It doesn't have a tank to suck up dirty water. And instead it kind of just spreads it around on its little wet mat mop pad and that mop pad gets wet very quickly. It doesn't have the capability, of, you know, a tank that can suck up water and it can suck up a lot more water. The, the um, scuba can suck up a lot more water. Um, but yeah, I think the navigation of the, the Brava, which is the new one, is much better because it's got a camera, you know, it's much smarter, it's got more compute power. That's something that I think is really nice to have with the Brava. Um, the scuba just dumb, it just kind of bangs into things and you know, it doesn't really know what it's doing. It doesn't like have a plan. It just kind of randomly navigates around. Um, but I still keep and use both. And I would say the scuba is better, but you know, you need to be at home. It's a lot of maintenance. The Brava is so simple. You just fill up a water tank. You don't even have to be at home. You press a button on an app and it goes and cleans and docks itself and charges. And then once you get home, all you gotta do is take that wet mop pad, put it in the wash and you just get a few of them and that's it, you're fine. So here are some that have been through the wash and you know, they're all good. I've been using them for a year. You do see some wear and tear, but overall, you know, still going strong. I have even more of them spare here. So lots ready to go. You know, don't need to wash them all the time. Just put them all in the wash whenever I do do my washing. You know, just use them. In fact, I think they actually have washing instructions on them. Yeah. So you can actually wash them up to 60 degrees. So that's pretty good. Nice to see that. Wear and tear wise, here's both products after a year of use. So, uh, you know, they both still work. And, you know, the wheels, everything still good. There's just some scratches. Um, nothing too crazy. And then on this one, I would say this actually got more wear and tear. So for instance, some of the rubber parts here are starting to like break and disappear. Same with here and the wheels, it looks like the, the rubber on the wheels is coming off, but I mean, they still work. So I'm not sure if that's a big issue, but I think you can replace these. It's just that there's no replacement parts anymore. Uh, and this one, the battery that came in the box, the robot scuba battery broke. And I had to get a new one. It was like 30, 40 bucks, so no big deal. But just keep that in mind. Uh, I did have to buy a non-genuine battery. But that battery's been going strong, still going, so um, that's not too bad. And this one is still on its original battery. And the thing with this one is if it does run out of battery, the iRobot Scuba, I'm sorry, Brava. These names are a bit confusing. The iRobot Brava, which is this one, um, it just goes back to its dock, charges, and then keeps going. It's got its little metal contacts there. Uh, whereas this one doesn't do that. Um, it you know it only has one battery, one run, and it needs to go back on the charger here. So I would say um, if you have a Roomba, get the Brava because it links together and works well. As long as you have a Roomba that has, you know, the iRobot app and you can then use this, the imprint linking stuff. Uh, but if you don't have any robot vacuums and you only have hard floors, then the scuba is pretty good because it'll vacuum and mop your hard floors one go. Um, but if you have carpet, then maybe you should get a Roomba. And then if you like the Roomba, get the, get the Brava. Um, because it's a newer product, keeps getting new features through the software updates. Yeah, I think it's just a better product. But yeah, leave me some comments below. Let me know if you like this video, if you disliked any questions you have, I'll do a follow-up video or respond to comments. Let me know what you think and what else you wanna know about, about these two products, because I still have them, still gonna use them, I still really enjoy them. Um, yeah, subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you all in the next video. Lens Addict out.